we're talking about the most massive hiring expansion this region has seen to date. Now, right now, we are 15 miles away from Electric Boat's main facility in Groton. This contractor also looking to scale up. Join the team that builds the world's best submarines. The week's old news that Australia will buy up to five Virginia-class nuclear-powered submarines, confirming why the country's century-old experts on submarine building, General Dynamics Electric Boat, is on a hiring frenzy, plastering ads like this across Hartford's Excel Center and running commercials during the Super Bowl last month. There's a you know, significant need for resources. EB is hiring 5,750 additional workers this year alone. A breakdown of the numbers shows 1,300 skilled workers are needed at the Groton campus and an additional 1,450 engineers and design experts in Connecticut and Rhode Island and 1,500 miscellaneous positions. This after EB welcomed 3,900 new hires this year. An EB spokesman said Monday the AUKUS nuclear submarine deal was just signed and company officials will soon start meeting with the U.S. Navy to iron out specifics, but the ramp up will take several years. Meanwhile, while the Virginia class and Columbia class submarines are keeping EB and regional contractors busy. Being able to really sort of find the, those uncut gems in the state, there's a lot of amazing businesses here that maybe don't even realize they're qualified to be able to support the fleet. U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal says he'd like to see investments reach research and development companies like RSDI here in Pawkatuck, which works on cybersecurity efforts and was recognized for hiring local veterans. More skilled workers. More training is vital to the kind of work that is done here. The specialty worker shortage now catching up with Connecticut, while companies like this work to protect the U.S. in what Blumenthal calls a global knife fight. In cyber, in security, with Russians and Chinese trying to hack our military and other systems every minute of every day. And for details on these jobs, just head to our website at fox61.com. In Pawkatuck, I'm Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.